And after he kissed you, what else? Nothing! Don't look to him to back you up. I'm asking you, what happened? Nothing, Jack! I've told you, nothing! So you think that's all right, do you? Kissing your husband's brother behind his back? Of course I don't. That's why it never happened again. No, but you wanted it to. Oh, that's not what I meant! Well, that's how it seems to me. His own brother. <laughs> Have you any idea what this would do to Andy if he found out? Oh, you're just so keen to get your hands on each other, it didn't so much as cross your minds! <laughs> oh, we tried to explain what happened. You wanted to kiss another fella. Whether you did anything about it's academic now. Married women do not kiss other men. It only leads to heartbreak and grief. I don't know, Jack, these things do happen. And if it was just the once... Do you still love him? Andy. Who do you think? Of course I do. <sighs> Do you want to be with your husband for the rest of your life? I love Andy, all right? And I'm so sorry for everything that's happened, but whatever you do, Jack, please don't tell him. Please. <laughs> I'm giving you both the benefit of the doubt. And I won't breathe a word to Andy, but that's for his sake, not yours. Thanks, Dad. There are conditions. You stop here tonight. Tomorrow we go and get your stuff and you move back in here. But I live there now. Well, you find somewhere else. Away from Katie. And if you're telling the truth and there's nothing going on between, it shouldn't matter where you live, should it? Your dad's right, Robert. And in case you're tempted in future, you don't visit the farm without me or Diane with you. In fact, it's best if you stay away permanently. Well, what about Andy? He's going to think it a bit weird, me just doing a runner. What do we tell him? Anything! As long as it isn't the truth. And as for you, you're a married woman. Start behaving like one. You stay away from him and the subject's closed. Now get back to your husband. <laughs>